The internet is a wild storm of speculation and misquotes this morning. Yes, I am talking about the reports out there that we are getting a Lando Calrissian spin-off Star Wars movie. This, of course, came from a quote by Kathy Kennedy, which was apparently mistranslated. I'm going to get into all of that, break it down, try to explain what I think happened, and speculate about what a Lando Calrissian Star Wars movie might be like and and why Disney would be interested in doing it. What is up YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love them Star Wars, subscribe to this channel. I love doing content about Star Wars. Quickly, I need to shout out Tony Huggin who got the nerd card question correct in my most recent Han Solo video. By the way, I think Tony and I were both wrong and the answer was something else, but I was actually going for what he answered for, so I had to shout him out. So shout out to you, Tony. We'll do another nerd card question at the end of this video. All right, so this was sort of a crazy thing. Like this news broke. I heard about it on a couple different websites, people talking about it. It was from a French outlet called Premiere. And apparently they put out this quote, which has now been retracted because apparently it was mistranslated. You see, this is a French magazine. Of course, they're over at Cannes for the premiere of Solo in Europe. And of course, there's a bunch of French press there and they're asking these different people things. Apparently, yeah, she was totally misquoted guys now she did say she would be interested in doing it in the future and from what I am reading it is a strong possibility we will get a Lando film however this is not confirmed and it's definitely not confirmed to be the very next film that they're gonna go into so that's essentially what happened but I still wanted to talk for a bit about why this would make sense to do and what we could expect from a Lando film now, I don't know this to be sure, but I believe that like this might have been in a series of questions about Lando and Donald Glover's performance in Solo, which is being praised by reviewers and critics as a very, very good part of the movie. And that's to be expected. I mean, Donald Glover is awesome. I mean, he arguably had way less pressure on him not being the lead in this film. So he was just able to just kind of kick back and do his thing. And I mean, I'm, I'm hearing it's amazing. I haven't seen the film yet as of this recording but I'm hearing that yeah that performance is just on another level which honestly doesn't surprise me at all Donald Glover's the man now the natural question to ask next is do we need a film like this how will the fan base take this are they going to be into it are they going to be not into it and I would say on the surface this feels very similar to the Han Solo movie itself meaning this is not something I think a lot of fans will get pumped about it's sort of like hey let's go back to the nostalgic characters remember Han Solo remember Lando Calrissian oh I remember which by the way weird thing to complain about on a 40 year old franchise that literally just has nostalgia as one of its pillars but whatever that's beyond me so I think a lot of fans will be in that boat on the surface but now is sort of a different table. We have a different table in front of us than we did when the Solo movie was first announced. The main difference is that the canon is expanded. There's so much stuff coming. We had the live action television show coming, which I'm telling you guys, this thing is just like right around the corner. It's going to blow you away with how fast it feels that that thing turns around. We're also getting the new animated series. The comics show no sign of stopping. You've got episode nine coming and then the Ryan Johnson trilogy and the Dan and Dave series of films. I think the majority of those things I just mentioned are actually going into new places or at least places we haven't explored yet. I also believe that they're going to focus on a cast of characters that is not super familiar to us. I mean, the Resistance television show is going to have some familiar faces. I expect the live action show will have some familiar faces. But what I mean is the focus of those narratives is going to be on new characters. So with all of that newness out there, with all this expanse into the canon, perhaps the fan base will be a little bit more accepting of a Lando film. So I don't know, that's sort of my two cents on it. Like I can see people being upset, but if I were like in a conversation with one of my friends that was upset, I'd be like, yo, but look, there's all this new stuff. Like maybe it's okay to have a little nostalgic Lando ride every once in a while, baby. That's 
I don't know, it's my best ability. Sorry. A couple of other points here. I think that it could address the diversity problem, and not just because I believe Donald Glover would star in it. Perhaps they'd allow him to have some creative control. I mean, he's a hell of a writer. It would be awesome to see him get some credit and do some work there. And, and check this out. This just popped into my head. The young Kasdan co-writing this thing with Donald Glover. I don't know, internet. You tell me what you think. I get a little pumped about that. Another point about this news is that it could actually address the multiple contract, the three films that Alden Ehrenreich signed up for. That was a story that broke a couple weeks ago. I speculated, Han Solo trilogy, maybe not. Maybe he's going to be in the Lando film. I also just think that from a business perspective, this just makes total sense. Donald Glover is on fire right now i mean he's got lion king coming out next year so you know he's already tight with disney despite the beef with the deadpool 2 thing and that's the thing like donald glover is just such a strong brand right now because his indie status is sort of still intact he's still badass he's still like cool he's cool so it makes perfect sense for them to go with him do a lando movie i mean it's almost a lock for at least 500 to 600 million dollars i would say and i mean that's honestly that's on the low end so I, this could be a huge movie for them why wouldn't you do it? Now, my personal feelings about it are like, I, I don't know. I have to see Solo first to see, first of all, how I like him as Lando. I'm sure I will, but I need to see how I feel about it. I also want to see like, what is Disney doing in this time period? Am I down with this? Does it feel right? Does it feel like it's sort of intruding on my memories of these characters from the original film? So I need to see that film before I can sort out my feelings. But I will say this, my favorite new canon comic book is actually the Lando series. I mean, part of that is because I read the whole thing and build Billy D's voice, which is just always a ton of fun. But beyond that, it's a fun dynamic story. It all has to do with Sith relics. They rob this yacht. It ends up being the Emperor's. There's crazy force wielding awesome cat people. It's a crazy fun story that takes place in Star Wars. And I don't know, they built a really interesting story around that character. So if they could do the same thing and give me a bunch of nostalgia in a big film, I'd probably be down with it. So that's the news. That's my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think? No way. We don't need this film. Oh, this kind of sounds dope. I want to check it out. Whatever you are thinking, I want to know in the comment section below. All right, let's check that nerd card really quick. Quickly, I want to know what is the name of the droid that is partners with Lando Calrissian in the solo film? You've probably seen her in a bunch of the commercials. What is the name of that droid? Answer that question in the comment section below. You can click below to watch more dope videos, or you can click our icon to subscribe to get all of our future content. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day, and I will see you in the next video.